is like leaving Chet Atkins and Randy Rhodes off of a guitar list. It's like leaving a uh, uh, Lamborghini Countach off of a list of flashy cars. And it's like... Uh, oh, God. Oh, God. It's like saying that the Easter Bunny brings uh, toxic chemicals to your home or something. To say that I ran is not a... Hezbollah is not a terror threat is to not understand what the word terrorism is. Everything that encompasses terrorism is now, has been, and will likely always be Hezbollah. The fascists in headscarves in our time are organizations that are the epitome of what Hezbollah is. Iran and Hezbollah were left out of the annual terrorism threat assessment, thus getting the dumdy of the day, and it was offered in late February by the U.S. Senate Director of National Intelligence, James the Clap Clapper. Iran and Hezbollah have been fixtures on the annual report before 2015. Iran's effort to fight Sunni extremists, including the so-called Islamic State, were touted in the unclassified version of the worldwide threat assessment. In other words, because Iran fought ISIS, then Hezbollah, which blows up anyone that they don't agree with their religious practices, including members of their own religion, because they happen to kill ISIS, they suddenly aren't terrorists anymore. That must mean that um, during World War II, just because Stalin was fighting the Germans, Stalin did no wrong. Stalin, therefore, wasn't a dictator that killed millions of people. Stalin was simply a great guy. That is what they're saying here about his Hezbollah. It doesn't make any sense at all. While the U.S.-led coalition has targeted the Islamic State in Iraq and Syria, the report noted Tehran's push to keep ISIS from gaining large swash of additional territory in Iraq. Iran is allied with both Iraqi and Syrian governments, so with the U.S. they have a common foe in the Islamic State. Hezbollah was blowing up members of the ISIS country, well, they weren't ISIS then, but they have been blowing up these people of this faction of religion since before there was a problem here. Hezbollah is no less terroristic because of it. They were blowing these people up all along. It's just that we want them to blow them up now. In the Middle East, Iran has intentions to dampen sectarianism, build responsive partners, and de-escalate tensions with Saudi Arabia. No, they have intentions, as we've covered, to build a nuclear bomb and threaten the safety of the world. Hezbollah, a Shiite group, and they should just use one T, one I and drop the E in my opinion, based in Lebanon and funded by the wonderful people, a religion of pieces in Iran, has also fought Islamic State militants in both Syria and Iraq. So Hezbollah is not considered a terrorist organization because of that. It says, Tehran's exclusion from the terror threat designation is part of Washington's strategy. Yeah, part of that strategy is to allow them to likely bring upon a nuclear destruction such as the world has never known. Friends, that is your massive 49-minute long Fukushima update. I should have done it in two days. That was a long one. Friends, thank you for listening. It's brought to you by Mike McLaughlin. He is one of the most amazing fiction writers extant today. He also does political rants and poetry. Look him up at Facebook.com. Mike McLaughlin, M-A-C-L-A-U-G-H-L-I-N. Also, you can donate to the show at the correct views at Hotmail.com. I don't bank. If I did bank, you wouldn't trust me. Why would you give it to me? The bank's just going to steal out of my bank account. Christelle will never listen. She's going to get her stolen. No, I'll tell you where you can donate at, send me a money order, and uh, again, I'll send you a receipt, whatever you need to prove that I got it, but I don't bank. So you'll have to donate at the correct views at hotmail.com because I cherish your money that you give me too much to let the bastards steal it. Good night, friends, and above all else, God bless. <laughs>